What's up everybody, it's Lowe's Cut of the Barber, here to bring you another beard grooming tutorial step by step. These will all be some of my top golden rules when it comes to beards. Anything from the earlobe to the tip of the nose is considered a cyber area, typically what we would use to fade any haircut into beards. Then I will grab my silver FX skeleton trimmers and begin my new guy line from earlobe to the tip of the nose. Next step I will grab my number 2 cause it's always better to start and fade from long hair to short hair than short hair to long hair. Grabbing my number 2 and working my way up into the zero. Now what goes after number 2 if you're going backwards? One and a half guard. Grabbing my one and a half guard I will continue to blend the original guideline making sure that every time I move closer to the guideline we're fading it out. After our one and a half guard we're going to switch over to our number 1 guard and continue blending. Notice how we're blending closer and higher towards the guideline, making sure that it slowly goes away little by little. After, we're going to switch over to our .5 guard, which is a little above a half or a no guard and underneath a number one guard. Next, we will switch over to our corner cutting technique using a no guard or a half. This technique is powerful to remove small and tiny weight lines. Making sure both sides are completely even will allow for the perfect faded beard. Next, if your client has a jawline, use that as a guideline. The lower you go on the bottom line, the higher you must go on the top line. And the lower you go on the top line, the higher you must come up on the bottom line. This is how we determine who gets a chin strap. And both lines from top to bottom should be parallel to each other. Now let's comb the hair into place and begin with our new silver FX trimmers with the graphite 2.0 blade making it a lot easier to carve through any type of hair whether it's coarse or fine. Making sure that our bottom line is created first will allow for a perfect more symmetrical beard when working on the top line. Now when you're working in the back of the beard it's ideal to think of a 90 degree angle. This shape will best define what a beard should look like from the back to the bottom to the top and using your trimmers first can easily help with creating a rough draft before we go in with the razor blade for detail. Be sure to be gentle with the trimmers as you do not want to leave any red marks or irritation on the skin before applying the razor. Now we're going to jump straight into the mustache. Using the same trimmers since they were in our hands already, we're going to save time by going straight to trim any hair that slowly and slightly hangs over the lip before we switch machines and have to trim the mustache. Now flip over your trimmers and begin the guideline for the top line of your beard. It is also very important you press gentle with your trimmers as you do not want to leave any red marks or irritation on the skin. Utilizing the corner of your trimmer makes it a lot easier to create a curvature to outline exactly what you're looking for. Now using our custom FX clippers we're going to begin to trim the mustache all the way down to a 0.5 card. Next I will rest my client's head on the headrest for stability allowing me to continue outlining his mustache from right to left making it easier to make it even on both sides. When utilizing a straight razor, it is important to tug the skin with your other thumb making it nice and tight in order to create the perfect detail. When shaving upwards, it's important to stretch the skin all the way to avoid any cuts. It is also important to educate your client on any signals so you can communicate with them without them having to speak to you or you speak to them. And for this back part, keeping the skin nice and tight by stretching it will allow it to flow the blade a lot smoother. And last but not least, let's take away the flyaways by going with the grain with your choice of guard. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the before and after on a 101 beard grooming tips by Lowe's Cut at the Barber.